Capcom vs SNK2 is a port of the original game released on Dreamcast and is a sequel to the first Capcom vs SNK game released on PS1. As differences, the second one adds 5 more characters, it forces you to use the 6 button layout instead of the 4 button layout and it adds more grooves. Grooves are fighting styles you can choose for a character. In the first game you had 2, in this one you have 6 styles to choose from per character. Also there is an option to create your own groove. I feel like I should explain. The styles I'm talking about are affinities, like for example getting back up quicker after getting hit, or parrying the air, short hops, stuff like that. You can choose what character is more prone to be good at. Overall the game is amazing. It's arcade action done well, and it also brought new stuff that feels good. Capcom Classic Collection, as the title says, is a collection of multiple retro games. And they are 1942, 1943, Kai, Bionic Commando, Commando, Exceed Axis, Final Fight, Forgotten Worlds, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, Gunsmoke, Legendary Wings, Mercs, Pirate Ship Higemaru, Section Z, Sun Sun, Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Super Goals and Ghosts, Trojan and Valgus. And Volume 2 contains 1941 Counter Attack, Avengers, Black Tiger, Black Block, Captain Commando, Eco Fighters, The King of Dragons, Knights of the Round, Last Duel, Magic Sword, Mega Twins, Quiz and Dragons, Capcom Quiz Game, Hyperdyne Sidearms, Street Fighter, Striders, Super Street Fighters 2 Turbo, The Speed Rumbler, Three Wonders, Tiger Road, and Varth, Operation Thunderstorm. Capcom Fighting Evolution is a crossover with the characters of Capcom Fighting Games. You can pitch Street Fighter characters against Darkstalkers and Red Earth characters. There are 22 characters in the game, the game uses the 6 button layout, before a match you have to select 2 characters and you can alternate them during a match. Capcom Fighting Evolution has a bare minimum of game modes to play. There's an arcade mode, a versus mode and a training mode. That's it. 3 game modes. All in all the game appeals only to a very small niche. First, you need to be a hardcore arcade fighting game fan. Second, you need to be a fan of these characters to be interested in the game. And third, you need to be really, really interested in the first two because the game modes and roster are so small. You're better off with any other fighting game than this one. Marvel vs Capcom 2 is amazing and you will have a great time with the game, guaranteed. Generations of gamers grew up with this game and can confirm how great it is. Hardcore purists though call it too hectic and don't like it that much. Also some complained about the visuals. I like them. And I like the game in general, it's intense, fast paced and the combos are some of the craziest I've seen. Honestly I love the game. Also there are 56 playable characters in the game, it's amazing. Namco X Capcom is an RPG where you don't create your own characters but instead play with Namco and Capcom characters and you have with whom to play as these two franchises have a lot of characters. The story is weak in the game, I'm not going to explain it because that will beat the purpose of my short review, but I found the story to be kind of nonsensical and weak. As for the gameplay, you have an attack round where you can button mash and deal as much damage as you can and a defense round where enemies attack and you have to press the buttons shown on screen to dampen the damage. There are 4 classes of characters, short rangers, long rangers, a mix of the two and healers, that aren't that useful since characters can heal on their own anyway. The game is pretty long, taking you around 50 hours to finish. I don't know how to feel towards this game, if it sounds interesting to you, try it. SVC Chaos SNK vs Capcom, like all compilations, pits characters from SNK and Capcom. 
to fight against each other. The roster has 24 characters, the AI is tougher, which hardcore players will like. As game modes, you get arcade, versus, practice, survival, and back in the day you had online multiplayer. And if the game is too hard for you, after defeat you can opt for some handicaps for your opponent, like upgrade your power watch recovery, lower your enemy's health by one third, or lower his or her AI difficulty by a notch. And another nice touch is that in arcade mode, if you die, you can switch to any other character and continue where you left off. Also loading times are fast. Overall the game is great. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and tell reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.